welcome back to my channel everyone today we're going to be making some scotch bonnet honey butter chicken wings stay tuned Hashtag, i'm a big deal <laughs> I'm a big deal, very, very, very important for So, yeah, guys, here I have roughly a kilo of chicken wings that I have divided into two because they came as whole wings, and I'm just going to go through now and season my wings. So I'm using a tablespoon of my Maggi chicken seasoning. I'm going to use half a tablespoon of my adobo. I'm also going to add a teaspoon of cayenne pepper which is totally optional but if you do like the heat you can go ahead and put it in. Now guys when I am doing wings especially wings that I'm going to put a coating on I do like to make sure that I lightly season my wings because then what will happen you don't want the, the seasoning on the wings to overpower the sauce that you're trying to you know bring to the forefront. So after I've seasoned my wings, I'm going to let it sit down for about half an hour. Now when I'm ready to fry it, now I already have a bag of um, flour that I used um, on another video today. And I'm just going to add my wings to it. Now in this bag, I have a two cups of flour, half a cup of cornstarch. I had a little bit of Maggi seasoning in there, celery salt, onion salt and black pepper now all i'm going to do because i do like to use a ziploc bag um to flour my chicken because i find it you know it's just a lot easier so i'm just literally putting the wings in the bag now now i'm just going to use my hand close the bag use my hand now to just press that flour mixture all the way in as much as i can guys if you're new to my channel thank you so much for being here if you haven't yet subscribed go ahead and hit that subscribe button and turn on your post notification bell so you know when i upload a new video now when i'm ready to fry my wings i just lightly put a little bit of flour inside of the oil just to test that the oil is hot enough now when you get your wings out the bag make sure you give it a good shake to get rid of the excess flour now all i'm gonna do now is just add my flour to the my chicken wings to the oil now i am using a fryer deep fryer so i've just literally follow you know the little sign that they have on there for chicken now once i've put all my chicken in i'm just gonna cover it now with the lid and what this does it just fries the chicken but also keeps it very moist now i fried these for about 10 minutes Now, once I've finished frying, do make sure that you are putting your chicken on a rack and this just helps the chicken to stay nice and crispy. Now, I'm just going to go ahead now and fry the rest of my wings. Now, guys, it is important that you do not overcrowd your pan that you're frying your wings because what this will do is reduce the temperature of the oil. Therefore, you won't have that crispiness that you're looking for. It will tend to start steaming the chicken rather than fry it. And you don't want that. You don't want the oil temperature to drop. So while that second batch is frying, let's go ahead now and work on the sauce now to about 30 grams of butter i'm gonna add a tablespoon a teaspoon sorry of crushed garlic and about half a teaspoon of i've just literally grated my ginger so i've just added butter garlic and ginger now i'm just gonna let this warm through Now this is the scotch bonnet sauce that I'm using. I do like the yellow one and I'm using the Eaton's brand. Now I'm going to go ahead now and add about roughly about a tablespoon and a half to two tablespoons of this sauce. Now depending on how, how hot you want it, you can just add a tablespoon. going to add about a teaspoon of dried parsley flakes. 
Now I'm going to add a little bit more butter because I don't want the butter to brown too much and adding a little bit more would just cool it down slightly. Now in total I added 2 tablespoons of honey. Now once you've added that I'm just going to go ahead now and add about a tablespoon of ketchup and what this will do now is just give it a nice colour but also it will just bind everything together. Now whilst making this sauce my flame was on a low heat. Now once you've done that you can just turn it off your sauce is ready. Now time to get out that second batch of chicken that's been frying. Now what I like to do sometimes is if you want that extra crispiness on your wings you can take it out about a couple of minutes before it's finished. Take it out, let it rest for about a minute, crank your, um, your heat up a little bit and just put them back for about another minute and this will just make your wings nice and crispy as you can see here. Now once that's all done, put them on the cooling rack, get rid of the excess oil. Now I've just gone ahead and just dumped them all into the sauce and I'm just going to coat it all. Now once I've done this, I'm just going to put them back on the rack to just, you know, all that excess sauce can just drain from it and you're still keeping your chicken nice and crispy. Now once it's all done, it's just time to serve and eat and you know if you want extra sauce you can just go ahead and pour the extra sauce in a tub just for those extra people who like to dip. But guys I must say these chicken came out absolutely beautiful, they weren't too hot as I said if you don't like the heat too much don't put the cayenne pepper in and just put a tablespoon of that beautiful scotch bonnet pepper sauce but we thoroughly enjoyed these wings. Like, whoo, look at that beauty. So, so good. Guys, thank you so much for watching. Don't forget to give me a thumbs up for this video. Share the video if you can. And as I always say to aim high, work hard, but smart because the sky's the limit and only you can limit yourself. Catch you in the next video, guys. Bye.